Your season, obviously you mentioned the Worlds, that was the high, high point, the pinnacle. Do you play it back in your mind? Do you allow yourself to go back and, and revisit you know, your biggest achievement so far? Yeah, I, play, I, look, at, I look at it sometimes. I mean, it, when, I watch back, when I watch back, I mean, it went so quickly. Like, just a week gone, it was gone. But to kind of look back and dwell on it and see my performances and watch my races and stuff and analyse them with Jonas and stuff, it was a good, it's a good learning curve for me. It's a good, it was a great experience. But I feel like now with me, I, kind of, I can't really rest in my laurels. It was a great thing to happen at such a young age. But... I've got, you know, championship next year, championship following year, God willing, just I've got a long career ahead of me, so I've just got to keep that same level I had of commitment and work and just keep going. I mean, when I get older and retire, I can look back at everything, but I don't want to just rest and, you know, get caught up in it, so. Was there any point of the season that surprised you, surprised yourself? Um, to be honest, when it, I wouldn't say there wasn't too many surprises, but I feel like I just took each race that came. Like, I didn't think about the occasion. I just said, right, this is a race. I know my model, I know what I've got to do do that and then see the outcome and each time I've you know seized the race because I've come from behind a lot of the races and stuff I just kind of got confident in doing that and I feel like it developed me to be fearless so when it came to the world champs when I was behind I wasn't scared I wasn't nervous I just thought I've been here before just keep relaxed keep cautious and it, it works well for me so I can't really complain. In terms of like moving forward would you like to be a part of the relay squad is that so, you know would you have other ambitions beyond the 100 metres you're trying to do the two or are you just focused on where you are right now? Def definitely now I mean i Got my team into, I got myself into the relay team this year. Um, slowly learning, I'm learning what it takes to, because people just think of relay, it's just a case of who's the fastest gets in. But for me, it's a lot of things. I'm learning batting skills, I'm learning that kind of thing. And there's a type four that we've got now, but I feel like I've got the speed to be in there. I've just got to show, you know, the coaches and show Christian and the guys what I'm about. And I think definitely even in the future, I should be involved with the team. So I'm just doing both really. And you mentioned season on season on season as a competition, as a major to target. Um, I know that last year, some of the people that were in your group, you know, they focused more on the Diamond League. Is that something you're looking to do next year or you've, have you got your strategy in place? Talk to me a little bit about how 2018 goes. Well, 2018 for me, I kind of, everyone's kind of asking about Commonwealth and that kind of thing. And I feel like the Commonwealth would be a great competition. But personally for me and my development, I wanted to kind of, you know, get, get myself on the pro circuit, run a bit faster. Because I feel like I've got to kind of be in those top races where the guys are running sub 10 and be in that environment for me to then do that. And that's, that's probably the best place I can test myself to do that. So I think this year for me, it's going to be a case of a, a lot of diamond leagues. The European Championships, obviously, that's in Germany. Um, that's going to be my main championship this year. I'm going to focus on that and then just see how it goes, really. That's, that's where I'm at, diamond league and Europeans. You don't usually do indoors, but there's a World Indoor Championships in Birmingham. Are you looking to overlook that? or yeah? Definitely. Everyone, everyone, obviously, everyone's got this common thing about my start and everyone's saying, yeah, you can get your start better. I mean, I ran a PB last year, 662. Um, which for my hat's quite decent and I feel like this year I've got to do indoors again. Um, race, I'm going to race on the uh, IWF indoor tour, get a bit of experience there, see if I can get down to like the 6.5s if I can. And just, if I run something that's you know, really going to contend the world for world indoors, then I'll turn up at trials. If I feel like we can go back to work and work on a bit more, then I'll go back to training, but it's just a case of seeing where I'm at. Really, so. any, any plans for longer distances, the 200 metres, does that interest you? Open, I'm, open, I'm open to ideas. I mean, next year would be a good year to practice a couple of events. I mean, I'm open to do two, I'm open to do four. Um, it's just the training for it, that's all. So that's, that's a different, different ball game. Did you say four? Because I never threw that in the mix, you did. Uh, four. <laughs> everyone, always, everyone always says I could be good at four, but I don't, I've never really tested. I think I've just got to one day just have a blank mind and just say go for it and see what happens in it. So I want to try it. All right, cool. Listen, if there was something that you want to tell us now and we'll revisit in, in November 2018, what would that be? Mm, just watch this space, innit, and see. Just watch and see, man. We'll do that. Good luck, right? Thanks, you too.